With all the scams going around on Discord, people want to keep their precious accounts safe. But do not make the mistake of using this to keep your Discord account protected. Now don't use what? What is this thing? Is this some sort of Discord privacy and safety setting or some sort of multi-factor authentication technique? No. Now this is a tool available on GitHub that is meant to protect your Discord token from malicious grabbers. Now if you don't know, your Discord token is basically a secret password which allows anyone to log into your Discord account and send scam messages. But the most important thing is that if a scammer is in your Discord account and you own a Discord server, well, what's stopping them from giving everyone on your Discord server admin? There's nothing. So keeping your Discord token safe is a very good idea. So now what are malicious grabbers? What are Discord token grabbers? Well, basically it's a piece of software that someone will convince you to download. So they might tell you to download this fancy cool game. And when you download that game, it will go into your Windows files, go to Discord and go through your files to grab your Discord. Discord token. And what this Discord token protector tool does is it claims to encrypt your Discord token in a secure file. Whoa. Now honestly, it's a bit of cool code. I have no idea how it works, but one of my viewers actually showed me this and they tested it out. And believe it or not, this tool actually works. If you look at this video without the token protector tool enabled, people can grab your Discord token and scam a whole bunch of others. But when you turn on the tool, the token grabber just doesn't work. But look at the title of the video. I tell you to not use this token protector. And there are four reasons why. Now the first reason why you shouldn't use this token protector is that it has a lot of security shortcomings. And the first thing I want to point out is that it doesn't protect you from a lot of the super common hacking methods on Discord. You have probably received a DM from your down bad friend telling you to join a Discord server where one invite equals one pick, three invites equals one vid. Yes, it's one of those raunchy NSFW Discord servers, and it tells you to verify by scanning a QR code with your Discord mobile app. And guess what? This token protector doesn't save you from that. But this token protector also doesn't save you from websites like this, BlackFridayNitro.club. This is a scam website where it tells you you'll get three months of Discord Nitro free from Steam, and when you click on Get Nitro, this is a fake Steam login page. And trust me, scammers do have a fake Discord login page as well. Instead of being professional, I'm, I'm just going to be blunt with you. This Discord token protector thing is the stupidest thing I have seen anyone send to me hands down. Because think about this for a second. Someone tells you to download some sort of Discord scam game. I've already talked about it three bajillion times at this point. But when you download this game and you run it on your computer, it steals your user usernames and your passwords. Congratulations for you, you have the Discord token protector. Your Discord account might be safe. But guess what isn't safe? Your bank account, moron. But I also could get your username and your passwords and your browser data for your email. And guess what that means? I could just request a password reset on your Discord account, then I log into your Discord account with your email. And finally, if I want to change your Discord account for good, I can just uh, edit your email to a new email. And since I have access to your old email, kaboom, your Discord account is now bye-bye. You still got hacked at the end of the day, even if you had this fancy dancy token protector. Now, the second reason why you should not use this Discord token protector is that it gives you a false sense of security. I hate to be blunt here, but people on Discord are idiots. They will fall for the most obvious scam on the planet where I actually get driven crazy. And this Discord token protector is gonna turn those stupid kids and amplify their brain rot because now they think they're invincible to every single Discord scam on the planet. And then of course, they're gonna download some malware that will steal all their usernames and passwords and now their parents' bank account is hacked into. Mom, I, I, I still can't read I now, the third reason why I would not download a Discord token protector or some sort of Discord security tool is the fact that you're downloading random software on your computer. It is open source, and it does tell you that it will protect your Discord token, but what if this was a lie? What if this was a malicious piece of code that would take your Discord token? And here's the thing, if I say that this code is safe, the developer could just turn evil and turn this into an actual scamming tool. But none of this stuff even matters in the first place, because guess what? Someone, one of my cute little viewers, actually went on Google, the craziest hacking platform on the planet, and searched for token grabber Discord free. And one of the first search results was a Discord token grabber that in the code had a function. It would look for the Discord token protector and it would just change the configuration to turn off the protection. This is like securing your house with 18 inches of reinforced concrete, putting 17 deadbolts on your front door. Your front door itself is a blast door that can withstand 18 gigatons of explosive power. But right next to the front door, 
where you have an open window that a burglar can get right into. All right, toning down the goofiness and getting back on track. If I shouldn't use this Discord token protector, what should I use to protect myself against Discord scams? And the most powerful tool against Discord scams is knowledge. knowledge. Now that's actually not a joke. Understanding what scams exist on Discord is the best way to keep yourself safe. Now at the end of this video in the end cards, I'm gonna have my Discord scams playlist. If you wanna sort through that, that's perfect. But general advice, if you don't wanna get scammed on Discord, you didn't get Discord Nitro for free. Don't scan a QR code with your Discord mobile app. Don't download someone's game or random files from people on Discord. Don't send people money on Discord, even if they're starving, homeless, whatever. If someone asks for your email or your password, or they tell you to go into your Discord account and change any of your account settings, do not do that. And really, the most important thing you want to do is just be skeptical. If you're unsure about a scam, just Google the situation on Discord. My Steam account was reported on Discord. You press enter. This is a scam. Anyways, gamers, that's all I got. Do not use a Discord token protector. Use your brain. And if you don't have a brain, then just use protection for the sake of society. Anyways, bye-bye, sweetheart. I love you.